don't forget about Ukraine. Uh, there have been several deaths over the past week. Let's not pretend that the fighting in Ukraine is is over just because Russia's total just because Russia's shifted most most of its attention, though not all of it, uh, to what it's doing in Syria. And I think the other thing that's important uh, that I would probably mention is that it's I, I think very important to make sure that the West still presents a united front on sanctions uh, over Ukraine, particularly now that uh, the French president is here in D.C. today and then running back, flying all the way back to Moscow uh, in the next two days to go meet with President Putin to try and put up this grand coalition against uh, the Islamic State. I think there's a lot of concern here in D.C. that some of the European allies are going to start pushing to perhaps weaken the sanctions that we've put against Russia because of their involvement in Ukraine. Those sanctions come up for renewal uh, next month. And while everyone said that they're generally on board with keeping them, there's still, I think, a certain amount of concern that Vladimir Putin's going to push for some kind of a concession uh, up front and perhaps push for more concessions on the, in the medium term and long term as well but that that's something that he would request. I'm not sure that that's uh, that I see those indications coming from Moscow and I don't think that the US government wants to uh, give up those on those sanctions right now. And I uh, wholeheartedly would support keeping the sanctions on until Russia fulfills its obligations in Ukraine that were agreed to in the Minsk II Treaty or Minsk II Agreement. But it is certainly a concern um, that I think a lot of Americans have about our cooperation with, with our European allies. Mm -hmm.